What is up with my eye? Oh, it's like I'm th turning like 80. Not even a year of being 30. Coughing in my lungs. Bum. Da, 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 da. Hello! And I'll never have that. I prefer cleaning, I prefer everything else, but to hang out with you. Miss Pathetic. need to kind of clean up this room. I had some crazy dreams. Friend's house who already moved out or something. She had this ghost that this girl who kept opening the door, leaving, coming back with books or clothes or something. And she would see this ghost and I, I wouldn't. So strange. Also, I was thinking, oh gosh, I have to like do a video today. Oh my gosh, I have to do a video today. I don't know what to do it on. And the parody. Okay, I have to eat first. It's so, so fascinating right now. I'm just fascinated and I'm relieved that I'm not the only one who has types we don't realize we have because this guy, age, I don't know about anyone else that he's dated or in any way seen, but me and the girl that I do know about, it's so funny. I think we're more similar than any of the three of us kind of realized before, but it's so subconscious who we pick. It's just kind of out of our control. We only can control it once we realized who we go for and why. I don't know, I woke up with, I didn't wake up with that. I just thought of that and I it put my smile on my face like we're all human we're all the same this is not my place I don't fit fit in this is what my mom thinks is organized there's absolutely no order no order <laughs> things that are not supposed to be there it's like teaching someone who's colorblind color I like to do it by myself, but then she goes against my expressed desire to do it by myself. Like it's the end of the world. Bye, just a date scene. Bye, just a date scene. Bye, just a date scene. Protest at the fate That was version one. I have my camera, I have my selfie stick, I have other self. We are on our way. All right, it's a beautiful, beautiful day, except that it's freezing cold, 47 degrees, it's so cold. I need to stop speaking so low. I need to fix my voice. I need to see if they can pair my Apple Watch to my phone again. I am dreading that. That was a Dodge Viper that was not as cool looking as you would think, as it looked in the show. White SUV cockroach. But yeah, so I also need to rant about men. Romanian men. Today is actually a good day. It's Saturday and I'm surprised that I'm not crying. I'm not sad in any way. I also am going to maybe shoot some stuff for my parody. It's really hard with one person. That's why I was like hoping so badly that each was willing to at least like film things. But I'm going to do it. One woman show. It's going to be crappy. But I'm going to embrace the crappiness. Oh! A red-tailed hawk! It was eating its prey. So cute! Eating some dead animal. <laughs> what is this sardine can open? Why is it on the counter? If you are part of a Romanian family, it's a lose-lose situation with your parents. You're never right. You're never a grown-up. You're never an adult. The only time I'll be an adult, according to him, is when I will have my own place and move out. So there's no respect, no respect. Do whatever they want with a smile on my face and quiet. It's not my personality, that's not me. I'm thinking of maybe getting the M3 back. Much more portable. I think my dad just kind of knew that I was going to start YouTubing before I even knew I was going to start YouTubing. Oh my gosh, the universe. If you never believe that things are meant to be and they have, there's like a greater plan and a greater force. He gave me this camera and he's like, well, I thought it was going to be more portable. And I'm not a traveler. So I'm like, why would he think that I need something portable? Not very happy. I feel happy. I feel normal. I don't feel sad. I don't feel like I'm going to cry because of age or because of anything associated with it. 
he's always on my mind especially after these videos i'm not going to hold my breath on that but it would be nice if we can get along and be good i don't feel depressed about myself as much <laughs> but i feel lazy and i don't feel like doing the editing to my video i think this is the dread before doing anything creative a little bit overwhelming feeling i don't know where to start <laughs> I wish I wasn't by myself. Then I couldn't be myself in front of age. And nev we never got to that point where I could be silly in front of the camera, in front of him. <laughs> he would sing along in the car with me to whatever we're listening to, and I couldn't. Oh, another ego, another hawk. He's so cute. He was too comfortable. His voice never was tense. Like when you're nervous. Yeah, it is what it is. Do the work, 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 work. I don't get the song. Uh, uh. It's a catchy song though. I mean, all you do is just say work, 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 and then anything else, you just pretend like you know what you're doing. And say, Why doesn't he want to help me with creating this music video, this parody, this vlog? Like, he was the only one who was like that kind of person that was excited to do whatever. If I could have kept him liking me for enough to build that kind of solid friendship or whatever that's like impossible that's an impossible dream right there that's an impossible thing i just said that doesn't that doesn't happen except for other people <laughs> would have been so nice to just do things together with someone for a change but no so now i'm getting sad again he's fine with being by himself some people don't need other people so many cockroaches and they're like gray which i mean cockroaches are brown but I mean, potato, potato. Why did I mess it up? Why did I mess it up? Why couldn't I just be normal and, oh, I wish I hadn't messed it up. I wish I knew how to give someone everything they wanted so they just could stick around or stick around long enough for them to like me. I don't know. Who wants to move here with me? We can share. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like this right here these are just gorgeous what are those like super awesome windows okay so there's not going to be oh wait oh wait parking spot i'm just that annoying person that wants this parking spot and so it's keeping everyone off stopped oh yeah i can par parallel park in one go i'm that good so... oh i know the sad souls we sad souls Bum, da. Yeah, that's how I sing this song. <laughs> With sad soul. Uh, why doesn't he want to do this? Because I know my friends won't want to do it even less. I know I'm a sad soul. I'm gonna text him, hold on. I didn't ask anyone. I, well, I asked my friend, but I know she's going to say no. But I didn't even ask him because it would just be torture. It would literally be torturing myself. Masochism. So I ended up not doing anything except for getting to the Apple store, paying 25 cents to park outside of the Apple store. Find out that I have to reset my Apple watch. I mean, I could film with my phone at night. Last night I met someone who said if there's anything he can do to help, let me know. As always, there's plenty of things that I would love to say, yes, can you help me with this? But of course, I'm, as always, I'm not going to say that because I can't, I need to survive by myself. And I said this to H too. Before he came along, I was letting myself grow accustomed to the fact that I'm going to live my, my life alone. No one they can rely on. And then he came along and he gave me hope. Maybe that scared him because that's not what he was looking for. I don't know. Now I have to just remind myself where I was and that I was in the same exact place that I am now. I had no one. And it's okay. I'm just going to pick up right where I left off. It's okay. And I have even more confirmation that that's going to be my life. And it's okay. It's okay. Not everyone can take the choice of being with anyone just to not be alone. When you start changing for someone, it's you settling. And I'm not saying like people change together. It's so strong that feeling to compromise and to 
be what the other person needs and wants go and understand them by doing what they like to do and that feeling is so strong when you like someone that because it connects you it brings you together it's powerful we want that that's what I think we all kind of imagine and live for and in my case I've not found one person who would want that with me they have wanted it with other people but not with me I'm wasting all of this on crying I got ready I put on makeup I think I have a decent outfit on that's kind of cute and I can't do this I can't do this by myself but that's what I said with skiing I thought I could not like how am I going to get myself up when I fall if I couldn't get myself up with someone trying to help me get up that's what I said and then I ended up going by myself and I ended up figuring it out darn it I wish I had a motorcycle but it's better that I don't because I would get in a lot of trouble being upset on a motorcycle yeah but I don't even have a parking space over here I'm wasting gas on nothing Ugh. too much in the main road but it's a, a spot to remember oh, what is this car it's a Subaru. It's interesting enough. I just feel so stupid too. Cute little doggies, oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, puffy German Shepherd. You're so cute. I feel like such a fool, such a crappy person. Can't do my own thing. I'm doing stuff that I saw at other people that inspired me that I wanna try. I just feel like a fraud and I just feel pathetic. I always feel pathetic doing anything. So I thought I was recording, but I guess I wasn't. I just found the place that we stopped the one night that's in my um, music video where he showed me the difference between like track on and track off, I think, or whatever it's called in his car. <laughs> mine is not that stable um, but it's okay because that's going to happen that's what it means to be in the same city that you have memories in I don't feel like doing anything I really don't just because I'm by myself and I just can't do this by myself I thought I could do this but I can't that's life Everyone's out enjoying themselves with their friends and then here's me by myself all alone and I'm sure everyone's probably saying that that's my fault. No one wants to be with me because of who I am. Because of something I do or don't do or just how I am. And I think that's, that's probably what he thought or what other people told him or both. You know, there's something wrong with her that at 30 she doesn't even have friends. I don't know why I'm wiping away tears because I'm not going to record anything to need my makeup. Yeah, I think uh, this was a bad idea to come to the Metro Parks. How everyone's out and enjoying them, their life, friends and family. And I'll never have that. Because I won't. Never did. I always had friends who had different interests or different friends. So they did stuff with their friends, but not with me. I was kind of always kind of like the pity. Pity hangout. That's what I felt. There was a guy who actually told me this. Like, let me see if uh, I can't find any other plans and then I'll come hang out with you. <laughs> That's what one guy actually told me. And it's kind of exactly how even some friends have told me that indirectly. They always tell me, well, I don't know if I have any other plans, so I'll let you know. Or, no, I just clean my room, clean my apartment up, clean my house up. I prefer cleaning. <laughs> I prefer cleaning. I prefer everything else but to hang out with you. I thought it was going to be different with him just because it sounded like he understood. So I thought it was going to be different, but it's not. It was the same. I'm still the most pathetic one out of everyone. I don't understand why people tell you, well, you need to do things by yourself. You need to love yourself. You need to be okay with yourself before someone else can love you, before someone else can be okay with you, before someone else wants to hang out with you and do things with you. You need to like being by yourself. So I don't understand why. All I ever wanted was to have friends. I've watched my friends hang out with other friends. I've watched my friends go to races with other friends, go to events, go on double dates, start living with people, hang out with other people, travel. This song isn't helping. Because I can do it during the week. I think the parody I was going to release 
on Wednesday, I want to say, or something like that. So that makes it okay that it doesn't have to be done today. It's going to change the dynamic of this channel by releasing these very pathetic and sad and pathetic and pathetic <laughs> videos vlogs but maybe that's what you know like i have to accept that this is me i am a sad pathetic loser with no friends or friends that are far away who have their own friends and prefer to hang out with them because they're not pathetic and depressive <laughs> And they don't think too much, and they don't overanalyze, and they're not thinkers. And I'm going to, uh, and I'm going to have to accept that I'm not the type who will ever be okay being by myself. But it's okay, and if it, it means that I have to cry, it's okay. If it means that I'm going to have to cry for the rest of my life, it's okay. I'm here. I'm alive. I'm living. So just like that bird that just flew by, it's a robin. Um, just like that bird. I'm just living how I'm, how I am. This is me, and this is my life, and it's okay. And believe me, I've tried changing stuff. Just like I tried helping my stomach. And ironically, my stomach's better now. Maybe because I'm accepting myself. And I'm not trying so hard to be someone I'm not. I look pretty today. No, I don't. I look puffy and cry and ugly and pathetic. And I should just change my YouTube name to like the pathetic <laughs> that's actually not a bad idea that would be awesome marketing no one's going to want to be friends with you you're chasing everyone away you're hurting yourself but this is my life now the reason i started youtube was to be real it's like 240 it's beautiful it's sunny and i have no one to call to hang out with or go for a walk I don't think this is what he expected. I let down someone who most people say wasn't that great anyways. I'm that sad. As in that pathetic. Word of the day. <laughs> Peace, love, and compassion. In the music video, it looks, first of all, it looks different because it was snowing. And it had snowed and there was snow on the ground. So this is where we were. And Don't Be So Shy was playing. I was shy to record him. Because he snaps a lot, I thought he would be much more okay with being recorded and everything than he was. I was kind of excited for that. Like, finally someone, I don't have to pretend that I don't want to right now take a picture or take a video. <laughs> I would love a guy who would be okay to have a huge dog family. Yeah, I'm home. It's horrible looking this way. I'm home. Peace, love, and compassion, y'all. You're so close. I'm just going to leave it like that for now because I don't feel like I can... I need to focus on driving. So I'm not going to put in the fish eye. But yeah, I just feel very tired and sad. I can't think, I'm, I don't want to let myself think, I'm not going to let myself think that it's nice outside and that I could have been out and about with him, that I could have had friends if I would be normal and good. I'm not gonna think about that. I'm gonna go home, eat and edit, and then hopefully I can post all of these tonight. I think four days, wait, what am I looking? I have four days posted. See, the, the camera is usually on this side. A lot of people are alone in the world. And even people who are like happily married, they don't all have shared interests and they go out. It's different because they come home to someone who loves them who, and who they can love. It's quite different. For a time there, I thought because anything that I was doing and saying, he was still write and send me Snapchats. So for a time, I thought that it's going to be different with him, that the bridge won't be burned. Venison, elk, kangaroo meat. Wow. I don't really want to eat kangaroo. And if you think that I'm still holding on to something you should go and love yourself. 
I was just so happy for such a short time. I was happy. I was happy to finally have someone to hang out with. Stupid. Stupid me. Naive? Stupid me. Just like I was naive with his ex when we first met all of us and just everything. So, neutral stuff to talk about. I found, oh my gosh, I was doing my eyebrows. Eyebrows, whatever. It doesn't matter. Does it matter if I speak well? No, it doesn't. Um, I found out why I was, uh, why my eyebrows were looking so badly because I was using the lighter shade because I was scared of the dark one because I have Anastasia Duo comp thing. I put the dark shade in the middle of the eyebrow. I just went over it with the like the wire thing and to blend it in and it looks natural and looks fine now. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Oh. Like well I kept stretching my legs but not that much. I've been recording for the past four hours re-recorded three songs I'm exhausted to the point of like pulling my hair out and depressed so gonna stop that gonna try and record some video for the purity i'm at that point where just everything's getting on my nerves <laughs> so i need to film I was talking to myself. I mean, I'm talking to myself anyways, but I was really talking to myself because I didn't press record. <laughs> uh, there's not going to be any filming tonight because I waited too long to eat and I got hypoglycemia. I just don't feel good still. I feel very weak and I can't think too much recording music. So I have three possible choices of what to post. One is the one that goes with the music video. Two is what I feel like would be the most positive and energetic, which I think I'm going to go with. Or three, the story. Because this month I'm leaving everything behind. I guess I really want to say he failed me and that's true. That's partially true because I know how I would have handled it. But even with him, because he expressed so much fear that I will stop talking to him, I was anticipating that. I was hoping that he wouldn't stop talking to me. But this week, he hasn't really done anything or said anything, even like the, the simplest things. So it's very clear the message has been received. I'm very angry right now, very angry and hurt. I'm always hurt, but I'm very angry. I expected better from him because of all that he would say. Something very different. A lot more understanding on his part. And the way he handled breaking up was different and better. So I expected a lot better going forward too, but I guess not. I guess he's the same as everyone else. So I kind of also was thinking of posting that story just to get it all over with. But I don't know. Oh, more computer. I might dance a little bit and take my allergy medication because <coughs> that's my life today. A lot of acid and coughing in my lungs. Peace, love, and compassion, y'all. So, I just can't believe it. I just cannot believe it. I just can't believe it's like completely over. I just can't believe it. I just can't believe, like, here we go again. Okay, got it. Don't you ever, ever say to anyone again that you're scared that they'll stop talking to you. Because that's such a huge lie and BS that anyone deserves better than that. And I didn't get that, but anyone after me, better. Thanks for your kindness and understanding and compassion and understanding. Yeah, thanks. Is it desire?